Hey everyone and welcome back to today's video. It's Ross again in the Groove Tube Academy. I am out in my travels again so I thought I'd share the camera. I've not got any uh, crazy kids running about in the background and it's nice and quiet although there's some birds out in the balcony here. I'm in the hotel in um, Lahore in Pakistan just for a few days so I thought I'd share uh, some more content with you guys. So let's um, minimize this a little bit so you don't see my face throughout the whole video uh right in the middle of the screen so yeah today we are so if you remember rightly we were setting up our um opt-in page or opt-in funnel so we had our opt-in page um to grab emails and then that will send you onto the thank you page um to whatever your offer is or whether you've been an affiliate for groove funnels and um, today we are going to concentrate on, um, so it's still in Groove Pages, but we're going to set up your Groove Mail to the opt in funnel. So this is where we're going to link this in, and then it'll go onto the thank you page, and then that way we can start collecting an email. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with Groove Mail itself, because I'm assuming that you want to keep everything like myself all within under one roof, um, which is what this program and software is all about. So let's get straight to it then. Um, I've got a wee list here to make sure I don't leave anything out. So we're going to go into our dashboard and you're going to want to select uh, Groove Mail from the menu. I'll just show you that now. So here it is here, Groove Mail. And then we want to go down, first of all, into Leads. So your lead is the somebody that's um, signed up for your email list. So we'll go into that first of all. This is just a um, demo account I've got up here for you to take you through the different um, setups and uh, video tutorials. And what we want to do is we want to set up a list first. So this is going to keep everything nice and neat and tidy. So you might you you may have several different businesses. You might only have one business. You might have different lists within each business, depending on um, you know what, what you're sending to that um, lead themselves. So we'll just create a list. Now I've already created some um, demo ones already. So I might just pick one and edit it, but I'll show you exactly how it, how it works. So yeah, here we go. So it's dead easy, actually. I'll just create one for you. So you're into lists, and you just want to create a new one with a, a name. So I'm just going to put um, GrooveTube Academy Demo. Oops, can't spell. And GrooveTube Academy Demo. These are just for your purposes, create a list. So this is just one thing that will ask you when you're setting up your uh, Groove Mail. It'll ask you to put someone into a list or whether to tag them or put them into a sequence. So I've just I've just created this one for this purpose. So that's the um, that's the first bit. The next bit we want to go on to senders. So this bit's just changed actually. I think it's only probably changed within a couple of days of doing this video, and it's much easier now. So sender senders, and this is this is you yourself um, as the sender, and you have to create this up before you can start um, creating any forms. So as you can see, I've just went ahead and created one um, a demo for you just to show you. So you go into um, new settings and you basically want to set up your details in here. So sender info, the sender identity. In fact, let me let me just go back to my one and I'll show you exactly what it shows in the boxes. And I'll go into edit. So this is just a demo one for what we're doing just now. So this is what would come up in the email when you send it. So it would be Ross at Groove Tube Academy, uh, send their name. Uh, this is the actual email that I can that, that I'll be using. I've not set one up for Groove Tube Academy yet, but I will do. But I just did this for uh, speed. Uh, the reply email if you want to reply, and then some business info if you've got a business address and. Um, you can put in some text here for people to unsubscribe. I think these ones have to be filled in. It will tell you when you try to save it if, uh, if it needs filled in or not. So that's your sender info. So once you've done that, um, it will send you an email actually. Yeah, so this is the new part of the sender info. Um, Groove will send you an email to verify your address. Now I've actually verified mine uh, just now, so I'll need to chase this up. It might take some time to come through. But what I'll do is I'll show you what gets sent through. So you'll get an email within a, a couple of minutes and it'll say something like this, email verification, Groove Funnels. 
um, hi Ross, blah, 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 this email is to verify and you click verify and that's it done. So I'm still waiting this on this verifying. This process is, is brand new, so it, it might have a, a couple of bugs as yet. It will not stop us doing what we need to do. But yeah, if you're doing this now, you might want to pause the video and just sort of set it up and then wait for that email and then verify it and then um, because it's likely on the next stage they might not let you go any further but you can always pause it and come back to it so the next thing we want to do is forms now the, the form itself so if you remember we've, we've created a list in leads we've um, created our sender which is us and now we're on to forms now the form itself is basically this thing on your uh, landing page or squeeze page so we create separate forms depending on which page, which landing page it is. So we know exactly where they're coming from, uh, our leads, and exactly what we're going to send them in the future. So it's important that you get this um, spot on each time, and then that will set you up for, for life, basically. And you may only have to make a few tweaks down the line. So what we want to do is um, we want to go into uh, forms and then forms again. And then again, I've just set up uh, some uh, demo accounts here. Now you see what it's saying here, you don't have any uh, verify, you don't have verify sender details, please verify sender details. So I've actually done this and this is what might stop you going through this next step. So again, uh, if you need to pause it, just pause it and come back to it. But what I'm gonna do is I've set, I set up these up before the sender verification came in. So at least I can show you the next steps when you come back to this video. So let's go into, um, yeah, let's just edit this one so I can show you the next steps. So you, you name whatever your form is going to be. It's not important, it's just for your references, save. And these are the, the five steps that you need to take. So the form field itself is what's basically going to be shown on your page. So it's this box here. Now, if I show you over here, we're going to have to just change this ever so slightly because I created this form to be set up with a third party email autoresponder such as Aweber. But I can also show you that as well if it's something that you want to do. So basically what we're doing in forms within Groove Mail is we're creating a new form. So if you wanted to add anything onto this, you could add in, um, say, you might want to add in first name and then save. And then that would just add that in, so email, first name, and you can fiddle around with them, first name, email. But for, for today's purposes, I'm just going to keep it as um, as it was in the, in the landing page that we had. So I'm just going to keep it as email. So you save and next. And this is the opt-in settings. Now, this is something that a lot of autoresponders use to try and um, keep the opt-in rates very high. So... The, th the thing is with double opt-in is that they'll have to go into their inbox and then they'll get an email that says, do you want to subscribe to GrooveTube Academy? And then they'd have to verify that they do actually want to do it. Now, you can do it either way. It's totally up to you. The single opt-in means that they're, they're on your list straight away. That's it. There's no questions asked. And the double opt-in means that they have to do another step. They have to go into their email account. They have to then verify um, before they're added to your list. Now, it's up to you. In this busy day and age, um, is, are people going to go to the inbox and then click the verify? I would say yes, that that's possible. If they've got genuine intent um, to, to your product, services, whatever you, it is you've got, then they will go and verify it because they'll want what you want, that you have to send them. But for simplicity, um, on, on this one, I'm just going to leave it as the uh, single opt-in and uh, leave it there for the, at the moment. So success page. So this is the page that you're going to send them once they've filled in the form. So if you remember rightly, we set up the landing form. Uh, so the landing page or the squeeze page. And in the funnels, we would then set up the thank you page. Now, if you notice that this URL here, so we can edit settings. So I changed this, this can be whatever you want guys, but I just changed this to uh, the 24 hour um, ranking uh, thank you page just for my reference. But this is going to be the end of the uh, GrooveTube Academy U URL. So let me just copy that and show you what I mean. So GrooveTube Academy 
And then if I just do slash paste, so this is this is basically the success page. This is where I want to send them afterwards. So we could just copy that, um, and I've probably already got it in, which I have. So as you can see, this um, this actually represents what's in the success page URL. You need to put in the HTTPS um, beforehand, or it'll not work. But it'll tell you that if you want if you want to proceed. So we have um, basically they've opted in, and now we're now sending them to this page. So we want to save and next. A welcome email. Now you can send a welcome email straight away, um, which will look something like this, and you can fill it in and um, put your sender in there. You fill in the subject preview, which is the little bit of text that will show before the main body of the email before opening it. So it's important you put something catchy in here just to uh, say, hey, it's Ross at YouTube Academy. You signed up to my email list, blah, blah, blah. Um, Pop the details in here for for the purpose of this. I'm not going to send because I eventually like to get them into some sort of automation uh, sequence that then just sends it out automatically, and that will include some sort of welcome email. So I'm just going to leave that blank at the moment. Don't send. Save and next. List and tags. So this is the reason that we sent up the lists in the first place. You'll see that um, the list now in the drop down menu come up here. So you just select one of them, whichever list that is you want to send them. So I've created GrooveTube Academy, so I'll just send them in there. And then if you wanted to additionally assign any tags, you can do that in here. And again, that just um, condenses your list down even more. You know exactly, you know a little bit more about each lead as they come into this um, into the sequence. And then this is a sequence where you could put them in and it, and it will send them through a funnel of auto automation in GrooveMail. But that's for another video. That's a bit more advanced, but it, it will show you the power of this uh, software. So yeah, so just as a reminder, select your list, where you're sending them, uh, tags if you want them or not, just put no at the moment, and then sequences no at the moment. So save and next. And that's it. So say congratulations, your form has been created. What's next? Paste this code into your landing page, which is what we've um, what we've got over here. And uh, what we'll do in the next video, we'll do a, a Groove Pages and um, link your Groove Mail to the opt-in funnel. I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible, 10, 15 minutes, and into small chunks. Um, so in the next video, I'll cover how we actually take this code and put it on our form and then uh, test the, the whole funnel itself. So I hope that was useful, guys. Please, um, if you need to pause it, rewind it, go back. Everything in here should be there. I'm constantly trying to keep up with the software because it's changing all the time. Even when I went to this, do this video, the groove mail bit, I'd, I'd changed since the last time I looked at it. But I really appreciate your time watching it. Um, please, if you've not subscribed, there's a, a button on the other side of the screen here that you can hit to subscribe. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really does help get this video out there to people that need it. And if you've got any feedback whatsoever, please do put it in the comments, even if it's something to say, look, Ross, um, you know, this is a bit too advanced. Is there anything you can do to explain the system more before you go into this sort of stuff? I'm here to um, serve you and help you along the way. And um, I absolutely love doing these videos, especially when I'm away on my travels and it's lockdown, it's hotel confinement. So I need to put my, um, I need to leverage that time. Um, so it's absolutely great. Reach out to me. You'll see me in the Facebook groups. Um, so I, I'm always there helping out. And um, yeah, even befriend me. And let's see if we can get your business up and running. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate your time. And we will see you in the next video. Cheers.